I'm Michael Walsh. I'm in a FOP, Fundamental, Fundamentals of Physics, uh, 2011 in George Stewart's class. Uh, I'm online as well. And I'm going to be doing the, the can implosion experiment. I have this cola can. And without my hands or anything like this, I'm going to crush it. And it's very, very neat. I'm going to take you step by step. I'll show you the tools that I'll have to need to use to actually crush this can and basically show you show it to you and you'll learn how to do it as well. I'm going to take you in my kitchen now and I'm going to show you the materials that I'm going to use to do this experiment. So come on, follow me and uh, we'll get this all set up and ready to roll. So first, what I have for materials is I got a bowl of ice water, you can see right there. And then the next thing, I also have a cola can, cherry, cherry coke, but any can will work. It's a 12 ounce can. And then for safety precautions, we also have tongs that pick up my can, which is going to get very, very hot. So be careful, use the tongs, you need the tongs. And then the last thing that I have for materials is this great stove over here where I'm going to be heating up the can. So now it's time for the experiment. Okay, so I moved all the materials closer to the stove, but I also have to put a tablespoon of water in there for this experiment to actually work right. So, you know, put the can under the faucet, put it very, very slowly, and that should be do it. Should be good. Alrighty. And now, the next step in this process is turning on the stove and setting the can on it. So here we go. This will take a little bit of time to warm up, but I want to explain a few things about this. For one, what's going to happen is particles, when they're hot, they expand, they go all over in the can when they're very, very hot. And when it's very cold, there's going to be a lot of empty space in this can. And what's going to happen is when I put it in the water, it's going to be like an implosion, a vacuum. And what's great about this, this is faster than actually crushing a can with your hand. So we are going to about, we're about to actually flip this can into the bowl of ice water right here and you will see what is going to happen. So, like I said, be safe. You need the tongs to do this. All right, got the tongs here. As you can see, if I, can, I get a close-up on this, you see how all that vapor is coming out? It's time for that to flip the can and you will see what happens with Mother Nature in this experiment. As a result of the experiment, what you can see is the cans are crushed completely. And like I said about the molecules in the can, how they're rapidly all inside the can, and when it goes inside the water, all those molecules get very cold very fast, and there's open space. Another word for this is pressure, and because how this happened was that the, there was not a, as much pressure inside the can as outside the can. So there's lots of pressure when it's very hot, but when it's cold, there's not much pressure at all because of these molecules. And as a result, you can see this can is demolished, both of these cans. Well, this is my experiment, the can implosion or vacuum, whatever you may call it. 
this is a very neat thing to learn from physics physics are all around us uh, every second of the day and this is just one experiment which there's thousands millions in undiscovered uh, physic physics possibilities um, I would like to thank Full Sail my teacher George Stewart and I'd also like to thank Cody for helping me with camera work and uh, directing me in this video um, I hope you uh, learned something new and something fun today and uh, hopefully maybe you will try this experiment as well I appreciate your time thank you very much